you would say the purpose of Pipe Club would be to unite some people with a similar interest while at the same time reaching out to people who do not yet share our interest to either get them interested or simply educate them and remove some of the negative stigma that smoking is. Summerler, Eric Nording, um, handmade designer pipes basically for the, for the that's a good way to describe it for someone who doesn't know what they're doing as much. Those are cool. They're made of cork. Summerler produces those. These are what I'd still consider a high-end pipe, but they're... Um, basically, I look at pipe tobacco and it tastes better, it feels better, it's better for me, and it's cheaper. So I figured it's, there's, no, there's really no comparison to cigarettes. I was actually here for another group to sign petitions, and they came in here to put the petitions in, and then I looked around and was like, wow, dude, this is an awesome store. And I bought my first pipe, and then Dave, the manager who works here, got, t told me all about Pipe Club. And I was like, wow, this sounds like what funner than seeing okay. a group of guys playing cards, <laughs> right. smoking pipe. I've been using pipe, tobacco, and smoking as a way to meet really awesome people and make those sorts of connections. And it's never failed me yet. So, As secretary, my main job is to keep the minutes for every meeting. Um, we need to decide awards. And what we need to do right now, if you could grab a piece of paper, Luke, and we could write down the awards that we're going to give out so that people, I can put it up there and people can tally tonight, okay. we don't have another chance. I'm trying to contact Sarah about Facebook. Uh, maybe. Let me take a look here. I don't remember what uh, meeting we decided that at. So. I know that Dan. A lot of the time what we'll do is we'll pick a particular charity and we'll have a charity party at least once a year where we'll have a bunch of people together and just do different things to sort of raise money, maybe sell raffle tickets for a basket, something to that effect. We also have done in the past uh, dog walking out of the Humane Society. We've uh, done a campus cleanup in my time here where we go around. Actually, we focus specifically on cigarette butts because, you know, we're the pipe club. We have two formals coming up, and uh, the next one, or we have one at the end of each semester. This one's like our end of the year formal kind of a thing. We get dressed up all nice and fancy. Everybody gets to bring a date, and uh, we go. We try to go someplace local because we're kind of a local thing, so support the community. Um, in this case, we're going to go to Freddy's. Um, and at the end of the year, one we're going to do awards. So at the end of our a lot of what we try and do is we try and get rid of that negative image of smokers that so many people tend to have, you know, people think that we're smelly, dirty, ugly people, and really we're not, we just enjoy something different from what some other people may enjoy. Our shirts have a very, very rough translation of Latin, and it says, in truth there is smoke. That is a great philosophy for this. It, in, excuse me, in truth there is smoke. No, it's smoke there is truth. That's what I said. No, you didn't. You said in truth there is smoke twice. Oh, I see. Play it. <laughs> All right, fine. Whatever. Same.